captain with my all right guys uh, welcome back to crafting with Mike and uh, today we're going to go over my end base let's go ahead and get started uh, so here we are at the beginning now if you look to our left we have a giant chain I want to walk sideways, what with the falling off, but we'll we'll try it. This is the giant chain. Ugh, that's scary. Much better. Okay. And then here's a little map. Looks a lot nicer on the um on the map. Um, let's go ahead and check out the main entrance. It used to be different. Now it's this. Hence the somewhat lazy hallway I have here. Here we are in the cave. I was going to say cave something, but nothing came to mind. Cave garden? Uh oh. There we go. We'll go ahead and go up our stairs. There we go. Into the nothing room. Literally there for decoration. I don't know what you'd call this. This is my main, for the end anyway. My end main. Now, this was supposed to do a lot of things. This was supposed to be kind of a redstone centric place. So, this was all set up to be an auto furnace. It, it's not. It is not an auto furnace. Here's my enchanting room. Well, I mean, it has all my enchanting stuff. This is, I guess, is the enchanting room, too. Um. When I type in dot home three, this is where I appear. My goal is to make it very homey, homely, home-like, cozy, comfortable, all those things. This shelf I stole from SideQuest and Pisces Kitty. Not the material, just the design. Well, I probably did steal the material too. To be honest, I just like that wall. A not bedroom bedroom. Can't sleep in the end. Well, you can. There's consequences. This isn't the important part. The important part is up here. Aha. Welcome to my end base. There is nothing up here, just frogs. Nice little compass to find the place again. Some Endermen have done their damage, but all things considered, the, the glow lichen has done its job keeping the place sufficiently lit without it being too ugly. I mean, obviously a, a more efficient way to do this would have been to have a million torches everywhere. That's true. But that would have looked that would have looked weird having torches all over the place. I don't like the I don't like the look of that. So I didn't. And I just dealt with the consequences. Consequences being that anywhere an Enderman can spawn, they will. Like there. And they just like to pick stuff off the ground and park it wherever they want. 
Now, one phenomenon I noticed in building this place is that um, grass doesn't like to grow. Nothing likes to grow. Get out of there. You can fish here. All you'll catch are regular fish. Maybe you'll catch other stuff, but the luck is low. Or I don't, I don't actually know. I just know that I fished here a lot and realized it was a bad idea. Now, I just said that thing about the torches. Well, here in the forest, it was real problematic. I don't, I'm not really sure why. I just couldn't keep the spawn rate down, and it was kind of annoying, so I just went full torch. Maybe, uh, well, no, I know Endermen can't spawn on top of trees. I don't really know, but nonetheless, the torches solved the problem. Got frogs. I want turtles, but the eggs won't hatch. And I think it has something to do with the fact that day, the day-night cycle, is what it is in the end, as in absent. There is no day-night cycle. This, and like I said, there ain't much to it. Pretty small base. And this is it. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a wonderful day.